So as you, as I'm playing this guys, obviously the first Dying Light has been out for a very long time and people waiting for the sequel, uh, Dying Light 2, Stay Human. I really, really want to play that, but because I've never played Dying Light 1, I kind of would love, I would love to see what the first one was like. I have played it before, but I've never finished it and I've never really got that deep into it. So, this is my opportunity to do that, and well, the Dying Light 2 saw sort of come out and big, I'm going to do this, and then maybe probably will go on to Dying Light 2 eventually. If you've seen it on my channel, I don't do up-to-date games, I basically, I don't do them just as a release, I do them in my own time when I feel like playing them. There's exceptions, if it's a certain game I've been wanting to play for a very long time, um, but usually I like doing things, I, I like playing just random kind of games what I've been wanting to play for a while. Dying Light's been out for years. So let's just have a little look. Um, get some titles on. Let's turn it off because I've it's a bit, quick, bit loud. Let's turn, turn that down a little bit. The gamma, I'm actually going to turn it off a little bit because I feel like this game's going to be pretty dark. Um, Thing is as well, when I play, when I play this in the back, like back in when I first got this game, I don't know when this. I have to let me just very very quickly. When did this actually come out? Um, I want to find this out, so I kind of want to know when this came out. So, 2015. So seven years ago, Dying Light One came out. It took seven years for a sequel. So fair enough, and I think it is in the same world as as two. So I'm happy enough to to do that. Be wow, be the zombie. By the way, if you guys like the series, if you keep showing love to it, I will do some of the side stuff. But I do, from what I remember of it, it's a very open world kind of thing where you can go out and do different side stuff and all that. This could be a very very big game. There's a following as well, so ooh, could be interesting. But anyway, guys, please, if it, show a lot of love and support. If, it, if I can get at uh, most 10 likes on this video within the first week, I will be absolutely spamming this game out for you guys, and I promise you that. Um, I am trying to get ahead of the content so I can get these kind of games out to you quicker. Maybe put multiple parts each day. If you show the love and support to this game, I will definitely do that for you guys. But without further ado, I've been Hawkeye Panisha. Let's play Dying Light 1 from 2015. Let's get into it. HUD activated. Commence briefing. Approaching Iran. Data on the subject, Kadir Suleiman. A local political figure hired to maintain order after the outbreak. His brother Hassan died in a disease-related incident before we were able to evacuate him. Suleiman blamed the GRE for Hassan's death. He stole a highly sensitive file which became his bargaining chip against the GRE, with instructions to publicize it if anything happened to him. Data on the subject. The stolen file. Yep, ten seconds. It details the incomplete process of synthesizing a cure for the virus. If implemented in its current state, the produced substance may be extremely toxic. Now. Also, the file contains full description of the Varian's structure. Any attempt to use it would result in countless lives lost. It must be recovered. Further information, current status. Suleiman sent the file to an associate unknown to us, with instructions to publicize it at his command at any time. To counter that, we instituted a citywide communication jam, preventing him from publicizing the file. Your GRE-issued radio can overcome that jamming. It is your lifeline. Do not lose it. Suleiman has since gone underground and begun using a different name. We have reason to believe he now leads one of the two main factions operating within the city. You are to find Suleiman and locate the stolen file in order to save mankind from a disaster of unprecedented proportions. Oh. 
I told you that wasn't a normal drop shoot. Break his legs, then take him to rides. Back up! All of you! Stop! Loud noises draw them! <laughs> Fall back! Fall back! way to start the the game I don't know how he managed to hurt himself getting off the parachute but to be honest it must have got absolutely whacked in the head one thing I might have to do just sensitivity is a little bit it's a little bit too much um, there it is uh, stick sensitivity I'll just put it down a little bit better it's just that you are in a safe area okay I'll be honest I've been watching a few videos of uh, another youtuber I watch who's a bit of an inspiration of Adbrad doing the Dying Light 2 walkthrough and that, that, to be honest it kind of inspired me to do this because uh, I ha I've had it on my PlayStation for quite a while I've just never had to be quite fair I've just had a, quite a lot of zombie and horror games on my channel so I, I wasn't really thinking of doing this just yet, but I thought, why not? You sleep for three days like a dead man and scare children. Off to a great start, thirty one. Where am I? In paradise, can't you see? Okay, enough joking around. Head to room one ninety. The boss will leave. What do you mean thirty one? Ask the boss. Okay. 31, that's your number. Excuse me? Your number. You're the 31st infected. I'm the 18th. Everything is counted here. One fewer doses of antizen. One more new infected. One more runner gone. Okay. Amil died because of this guy? Quiet. Oh, fuck quiet. Now he's gonna get Amir's anti scene. Hey, where's room 190? Upstairs. What's your problem, dude? Well, to be quite fair, the guy just died. One by one. <laughs> okay, uh. Can't run yet. Oh, one night. 
I'm looking for the boss. Is he in there? Oh, you're 31. Go on in. Let's go then. Hey, I'm looking for the... Are you the boss? What, am I too young? You got the problem with my age? No, I... You wanted to talk to me? That's better. Do you remember anything? Know what you are? Yeah, I can, I can see this is some kind of shelter. We call it the Tower. Brecken and his runners put it all together a couple of months ago, and we've been here ever since. Hunting airdrops, scavenging, and rescuing people. Yeah, I, I wanted to thank that girl. Good, because if not for her, you'd already be chewing somebody's knee bone. Your antigen was totally crushed, by the way. Only thing Jade could salvage was your radio. Oh, great. So can I get that back, please? Actually, I think I need it more than you do. Believe me, pal, that's not the case. Fine. Take it. You know my runners put their lives in danger? For guys like you. So now you take the antis and meant for someone else, and you won't even share your gear with us? I don't have time to deal with your bullshit. I'd lost contact with one of our guys, thanks to the fucked up radios we're stuck with. Do something for me, would you? I don't want to see you or your precious radio anymore, so go be useful somewhere else. We don't tolerate lazy assholes here in the tower. Hey, be fair, I'm not, I'm not lazy, I'm just, hey, boss. Save it. That lost guy I mentioned, he's only on the 13th floor, but he might as well be trapped in a mine cave -in. Come back later. And I'm not the boss. Too young, remember? I'm Rahim. Brecken's in charge here. Okay. Not to the best of starts. <laughs> but, okay. I've got to say though, 2015. I'm not lazy, you little shit. The graphics look pretty decent, you know? I've got to say. Uh, check the for the lost survivor on the 13th floor. Exit. Workshop. Can't go in there yet. Can't speak to him. I'm just trying to speak to anyone I can. Where do you think you're going? The 13th floor. I'm getting some stuff for Raheem. Thirteen? Shit. That's gonna be some dirty work. But we all got to pull our weight around here, huh? Oh, it is. Big. Sort of like just went into... It <laughs> went into the white, white door, so I couldn't really see it. Oh, God. Jesus. How many people died here? Well, that's charming. Crane here. Where were you? We've been waiting for your report. It's been over 70 hours. I lost my radio for a while. Don't worry, my cover's intact. No contact with the tower's leader yet. Unable to confirm identity and taking steps to blend in. Acknowledged. Time is of the essence, Crane. Remember that. There's, there's one more thing. I, I got bitten. I've shown no symptoms, but the people here say I'm infected. Then you'd better get your hands on some antisem ASAP. Help! 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 Somebody! What the hell? away from him. Oh, God. You had to kill him, didn't you? <laughs> God damn it! That was... That was my brother. I came down to see him and... Easy, easy. It's all right now. I'll, I'll get help. Hey, Raheem, this is Crane. I'm down here on 13. 
Listen, this guy of yours got fucked up pretty bad getting away from a zombie. Oh shit. 31? You went after Mark? Is it... is it safe down there? Yeah, well, it's safe enough now. Okay, don't move. I'm sending Lena downstairs. Let's have a little look around. Whoa. Why do I feel like this is going to be something you can jump off eventually? Hey, hold still. Lena will be here any minute. Goss! You've got to find some goss! You oh, and alcohol! Combine them. That will stop the bleeding. Please hurry! I try to stay calm, okay? I'll be right back. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I think that's everything I'm gonna find. Let's give this a shot. Oh, yeah, I actually think I think I need to put the brightness up a little bit more, guys. A bit more you're safe than mine. I, I can see just about fine, but obviously on the. Uh, okay, I see how. Yeah, well, it's a bit better. One second. There we are. Awesome. Okay, who's hurt? He's bleeding pretty bad. Let me see him. Goes in alcohol, huh? Pretty primitive, but it'll work. Thanks for the help. I'll take care of him from here. Well done, 31. Tyler. I just want to help out and repay you guys for what you did for me. Well, good. Come find me, and we'll talk about how you can do that. Keep an eye out for supplies because you never know when you might need them in a zombie zombie game. Can't speak to him. Might as well search these places while I'm here. Oh, as long as you're alive, there's still a chance. All right, taken care of. Piece of cake. What else you got for me? Well, let me think. Rahim, you are just smart enough to be dangerous, you know that? Omar told me about your plans for the nest. Explosive charges? Really? What? Explosives? Oh, I please. never said that. You can't tell a convincing lie to save your life. I know what I'm doing. Yeah? You think you can't die? You're not my mom. No, I'm not. Our mom's dead. So you might want to be a little nicer to me since I'm the only family you have left. Especially now that Amir is gone. You're Jade, right? Right. I just wanted to thank you for what you did for me and, and tell you how sorry I am for your loss. 
I owe you and Amir my life. Yeah, you do. You want to return the favor? Keep my dipshit brother from killing himself. No explosives, Rahim. Okay. Um, let me just have a little look around first. See if there's anything around here what I could use. What's this? Loud noises attract something. Be quiet or you'll buy it. Okay. So, so, was that enough? Do I get to talk to Brecken now? First, go change your clothes. I left some new ones for you in your room. You're in 194. Something wrong with what I'm wearing? You need something that fits the job Brecken wants you to do. Call me when you've changed. Didn't know there was a bloody wardrobe selection for this, but whatever. 194. Check everywhere. Fresh clothes. Okay. Okay, Raheem, I'm ready. Where do I find Brecken? Not so fast, 31. If you're going to earn your keep, we have to find out if you've got the skills. So get your ass up to the gym. It's on the top floor. Just a couple flights up. Okay. I don't know, is there like a stamina thing oh, where you can only go so far? What can I do? Raheem, I don't see you. Where are you? Parkour basics. Press and hold R1 to jump and grab the ledge you're looking at. Remember to look out the ledge. Okay. Okay, that's not too bad. You want to feel right at home? A crane? On a crane! Oh, no, I miss. Welcome to our gym. First things first, you've got to learn how to run. What do you mean, learn how to run? Just do what I say, alright? Now, jump down to the very bottom. Are you nuts? I'd kill myself! Don't be a wimp. Come on, you can't be serious! Watch this. Raheem! My leg! Jesus, don't move! I'll get help! Ha! I was just fucking with you! Son of a bitch! What? You can't take a joke? Come on! Get your ass down here! Christ on a crutch. Really? We gotta do this shit? Whee! <laughs> Holy shit! Holy shit! <laughs> it's a rush, isn't it? But don't blow your load just yet. There's more. To survive outside, you got to take advantage of the terrain. Most eaters suck at climbing, so the harder the terrain is, the better for you. I've got some typical situations set up for you. Let's see how you handle them. Sometimes it's better to crawl through the low, narrow passages. Eaters will have a tough time following you. To 
try not to slow down once you start running. Outside, if you stop, you're probably dead. Don't release the jump button while jumping, otherwise you'll grab, you won't grab. Wow, that was just like an instant fail. basically a massive tutorial on the parkour stuff. Okay, that's enough. You've got some serious natural talent, man. Either that, or you've done this before. You've done this before? Hardly. Closest I ever came to this was running track in high school. <laughs> well then you're a fucking prodigy. Never seen anything like it. Nice. What's, what's happening to me? Crane? Shit. Shit. Oh, shit. Crane, talk to me. What's going on? Something went wrong. Rahim, what just happened to me? Oh, shit. I bet you're having your first seizure. Just get back over here. Go, move your asses. Crap, crap. Fuck. Raheem, what the fuck was that? Does this mean I'm I'm turning? Most likely no. At least not yet. Caesars reminds you that you're infected. You better go see Dr. Zera, though. He'll check you out, probably give you a shot of antizin. Before you head out to see Zera, talk to the quartermaster. He'll uh, gear you up so you can go outside without getting your head bitten off. Nice, okay. Well, that's brilliant. <laughs> Bedroom. <laughs> I'm so glad it's not like a hat or a sock on the on the doorknob. <laughs> if you know, you know. Use the elevator to get to the bottom floor. Okay. I'm liking it so far, it's a very different game to what I'm used to. It seems like a very more dark and gritty game like, than I thought it'd be. Oh, you're the new scout. Rahim radioed me about you. Yeah, that's me. Name's Crane. I'm not going to bother learning your name till you survive a few days, but here, this is for you. By the way, Word around the tower is you're just another deadbeat in line for food or antizen. By which I mean, the people here don't much like you. But don't blame them. It's easy to get paranoid when you're isolated. And since somebody's jamming communications to the outside, there's plenty of paranoia to go around. Whole damn city with nobody to call for help but ourselves. You bring me some supplies from the airdrops, though. 
and you'll see people change their tunes in a hurry. That shit's a game changer. Uh, thanks. I'll bear that in mind. Listen, is there anything else? I'm in a bit of a rush. Also, if you're looking to get more popular, you can try helping folks. Do a few favors, they might like you more. Might even find a woman. Keep you warm at night. <laughs> The quartermaster will provide you, you with free items each day. Make sure you visit him if you are running low on supplies. I don't know what this is. What's the docket candy? What? Uh, hold on a second. Let me just have a look. What's this? Ah, grab his festive crowbar and share the crit. Ah! I think it's some kind of something that comes to my brother. Okay. Going outside, yeah? Okay, new guy. Be careful out there. We've lost too many already. Say it's like okay, noob. You got Dr. Zeta setting. set up in a semi trailer on a fenced in plane court. When you leave the tower, hang a left and head due south. You can't miss it. It's Crane, kid. All right, all right, Crane. Just keep moving. There's no time to take in the sights. And try not to make too much noise. Sound attracts those fuckers. Doctor? Hello? Anybody there? Camden, are you there? Damn it. Uh, so I'm supposed to get a vaccine? What? No, no. Suppressant. It's called Antizen. Suppresses the symptoms here. Sit. Antizen postpones the inevitable. Best the GRE could do. Inevitable? So th there's no cure? It's a variation of rabies. There's no cure right now. But you see, I've been running tests on both antizen and infected tissue. A cure is possible. Definitely possible. Oh shit, you really think you can figure it out? With Dr. Camden's help, yes. I think so. Uh, now where did I put that injector? Well, who's Dr. Camden? A colleague trapped in Sector Zero, where the outbreak first, well, broke out. We've been collaborating via radio, Though we would have made more progress if the connection were better. Also, if my earlier experiments had borne fruit, I tried injecting recombined versions of the virus into chunks of meat and leaving them around the city, hoping some of the infected would eat them so I could observe and document the results. But they didn't? Uh, it bore no fruit. I'm ashamed that I wasted so much time on it. No reason to hold any antizen in reserve now. In any case... All right. I'm quite busy, so on your way now. What was I doing? Keep it fast. I'll probably still do a little Raheem, more story. Zara just... checked me out and gave me another shot. Okay, great. Not out to hold you, for a while, which is good, because I'm starting to get used to the idea of bossing you around. So, time for a real trial. Go talk to Spike. You'll find him near Zeta's truck. He's got the first real job for you. So I'll do probably this one last one, suppose, and we'll see. Ooh, skill point required. Nice one. 
Nice. What, what was that one? Survival starter kit. Learn how to. Okay. Nice. Okay. So we'll do this. Let's. We'll Spike. Just finish the ship. I'm Crane. <laughs> just what I need. More unskilled labor. All right. Shut up and pay attention. There are two types of airdrops. One is food, first aid supplies, survival gear, and such. The other kind is filled with antizen. The GRE sends in a one-way video feed that lets us know when they're on the way. Look, the trouble is, the airdrops with antizen keep getting raided by Rise's thugs. And without antizen, we're basically screwed. Rise and his boys only operate during the day because going out after dark is a dandy way to get killed. But the next two antizen drops are coming down right at sunset tonight, and Brecken means to go after them. This may be our only chance to reach the airdrop. What's my part here? Well, as I said, going out at night is basically suicide. Or it would be if I hadn't been setting up safe zones and traps out there for weeks now, which I have. Now, Brecken and his team will be okay tonight so long as you get out there now and arm those traps. That's your part. All right. What are these traps and how do I arm them? You'll see. I'll be talking you through it. Just remember, without these traps, Brecken won't survive the night. And if he doesn't come back with Antizen, we are lost. Before you head out there, grab some firecrackers. Made them myself. They make a fine distraction if you get in trouble. Awesome. Anything else around here? Okay. I'm liking it so far. I want to put a little bit more story into this before I finish the first part. Looting is the key to survival. Yeah, yeah. Looting. I'm outside, I'm working for Spike. You're Crane, right? Listen, our runner's trying to secure one of our safe houses for Brecken's mission. He's in a courtyard by Vefa and Mimar, surrounded by zombies. We gotta help him. All right, I'm on it. Okay. Best little real test. Quite a bit of this, guys, where I'm just looking around for stuff. Um, some stuff I will, I will, I will kind of take out out of the videos, just so it's. Oh, I got it! Nice! Oh, yeah. Plain pipe, coffee, awesome. Well, let's, let's go get out of Survivor. Okay, Jade, I'm here, along with some infected. Watch yourself, Crane. Shit. Alright. Finish it. Just don't 
Okay, it's done. Fuck. You had no choice. He wasn't human anymore. Now hurry. You still need to turn on the lights. That's the only way to make this place safe at night. Okay. Awesome. What do I need? Ah, shit. Almost. Just give me a second. <laughs> Crane here. Report. Okay, I met this doctor, scientist type. They've got him set up in a sort of research trailer, and he's working on a cure for the virus. His name is Zera. Hello? Do you copy? Affirmative. Secondary objective added. Maintain your cover and secure all of his research. Acknowledge. Your stolen file still takes top priority, though, right? Affirmative. We find it unlikely that a single researcher working out of a trailer could produce any significant results. But if he does, we want to see it. Dave, no, it's done. Was, Good. We'll need to prepare more places like that one. We've got more spots picked out for future safe zones. Spike will mark them on your map later. And Crane, thank you. Back to you, Spike. Oh my god, I just got it back. Right awesome. now, you need to get back to our main task and arm the next trap. There's another car close by. Got it. Move your asses. Done with the car spike. Keep on like that, you just might make it. The next trap's close by. I shouldn't have to tell you, but don't get caught out in the open. Spike, these freaks are everywhere. If I need to use a trap, how do I activate it? You can't. I told you, they're only for the night mission. Shit. Okay. Bit done. I'll uh, I'll get this last mission done, and then we'll probably call it a day with the first part. This has been a long intro. Thank you. 
There we are. Quite a contraption you got here. Three times brighter than an ordinary street lamp. Gives the effect of quite the sunburn. There we are. Jesus Christ. Okay, lights are all set. You ready for the next one then? Better hurry. Ouch. Oh my god, why? There's so many and it's getting dark. <coughs> Like the whole goddamn district went down. What the hell's going on? Oh, not again. All right, listen. There's a power substation near. Go check it out. Hey, this blackout has really put us in a tight spot. We're defenseless here. Plus the safe zones and some of my traps are down too. We need to get the power up and running ASAP. I've got the substation reset, but if the grid shorted once, you know it could happen again, right? You leave the electrical engineering to me, okay? Just get your ass to a safe zone. You're gonna have to spend the night there. I should be doing this right now. I have not got a time for this shit. Oh, there we go. Here we go. Oh, shit. What is that? Oh, I can't give a very mutated boy. I saw this freaking weird zombie. He's covered in big green blisters. It, it hauled ass as soon as it spotted me. You know anything about it? <laughs> Not enough information, I'm afraid. But if you see another one, do let me know. Okay guys, I am going to save it here and I'm going to end the first part here. Hope you have enjoyed. Please be liking the videos. Please subscribe if you haven't already.
I will be smashing this game out for you and we will be finishing this. As one thing this channel's doing is let me finish the games I've always wanted to, just never had really the drive to. But now I am because I'm doing it for you guys as well. So anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Till the next part of Day Dying Light. I am out.